Coming up this week on Eagle Vision News, Biola hosts a discussion with the LGBTQ community. And we take you to a global students event that's sure to get your mouth watering. Plus, we give you tips on how to stay germ-free this semester. All this and more, next. Welcome to EcoVision News, I'm Natalie Grace. And I'm Tiffany Brevard. Let's take a look at this week's headlines. New Jersey high school football players are in big trouble over an alleged hazing incident that took place in September. Prosecutors say older players on the Sayreville War Memorial High School football team gathered four rookie players in a locker room where they started to jeer and insult them. It is also alleged that the older players sexually assaulted the rookies. Seven players have been charged with aggravated assault, conspiracy, and hazing, among other things. A three-year-old boy remains in critical condition after falling into a Jaguar exhibit in Arkansas last Friday. The child was with his family when he leaned over the exhibit railing to take a photo. That's when he went over and fell about 16 feet into the habitat. Two jaguars attacked the toddler, with one biting him in the neck. Fire extinguishers were used to ward off the animals, and a zookeeper retrieved the child. As of Monday, the child remains hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. An emotional wife embraces her husband as he sees for the first time in 30 years. Larry Hester was diagnosed with an eye disease in his early 30s that left him in virtual darkness. But thanks to new technology, Hester is now able to see shades of light that can potentially help him to distinguish doors, windows, and other objects. Hester says he wonders why he's so lucky to get this opportunity and hopes to use his case to help others suffering with the same disease. Earlier this week, Viola hosted a public discussion on sexual differences featuring Wesley Hill and Justin Lee. Reporter Hunter Grenier gives us more information. Last Tuesday night, students waited in line in front of Sutherland Hall to view Viola's discussion on sexual differences titled, How Do We Love? The night featured Wesley Hill and Justin Lee, two prominent gay Christians discussing their thoughts on Biola's biblical position paper on same-sex relationships. The event was so popular that they opened an overflow site here at Calvary Chapel. Students and faculty got a chance to hear how they can love LGBTQ Christians in their community. Wesley Hill, who supported a traditional view of marriage, dialogued with Justin Lee, who held a positive view of same-sex marriage. They used the night to discuss their lives growing up in a Christian community while experiencing same-sex attraction. Although this topic can be controversial, many were pleased with the overall tone of the night, including the speakers. I, I feel like it went really well. Uh, there was good attention from the audience, engagement with the questions, and um, I feel like people turned out in large numbers, and that was exciting for us. Um, I, I feel very positively about it. Students made it clear that they were open to hearing two different perspectives on this subject as well. And so I came back because I think uh, this is an issue that affects students, affects faculty, and to have this kind of dialogue, open dialogue, with both sides represented is so important. The night ended with a question and answer session where Wesley and Justin gave tips on loving LGBTQ Christians in the Biola community. For more information, check out Biola's biblical position paper on same-sex behavior online. This has been Hunter Grenier, Eagle Vision News. It seems like temperatures have been cooling down recently, and let's hope it stays that way. Brooke, do you have any good news for us? Tiffany, it is going to get nicer this week, but let's take a look at this beautiful shot in Norway. Look at that man just perched up there. He's 2,300 feet above the fjord in Norway. You know, that could be you on your study break. All right, now let's take a look at our current conditions here in La Mirada. All right, so we have a nice 62 this morning starting us off. If you were up early like me, you felt that. And as the day progressed, we had a solid 75 degrees, pretty pleasant, finishing the evening with 63 degrees. All right, let's take a look at our current conditions across the country. As you notice, the bolded red, that is the hot, and we're feeling it here in Southern California. We do have the high of 88 degrees in Arizona there, and over there in Florida as well, they feel it too. They feel the hot, the hot 86. But over there in Colorado, they're starting to feel the nice fall temperatures, the 50 degrees, and over there in Minnesota as well, they're feeling that nice 45 brisk chilly Minnesota weather. All right, now let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. All right, starting
starting us out this Monday, today it was nice and hot with a high of 91. And Tuesday, look at that drop. We've got a drop all the way down to 77 degrees. And over here on Wednesday, we have another drop of 73 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. And as the week continues, we are rising up again, 77 on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, steadying out with a nice 78, finishing your week off strong with nice 80 degrees. All right. That's your weather for you. Back to you at the desk. Biola students got a chance to get off campus and explore a little more of the culture in Southern California this week. Reporter Nick McNeil takes us there. The OC Night Market is underway with upbeat music, delicious foods, and shopping vendors of various kinds. And it's obvious that people from all over the globe, from every culture, have gathered here tonight. Tonight will mark the first time at the OC Night Market for many visitors and for many vendors. But the food and community here is sure to have them coming back for more. I'm here with Carla. Is this your first time at the OC Night Market? Yes, this would be our first time at the OC Night Market. Okay, and um, what kind of food do you make? And, and just tell us a little bit about what you do here. Okay, what we have, it's a mixture of Hawaiian food and Mexican food. So it's mainly Mexican spices and a mixture of the Hawaiian spice as well. So it's more of a sweet and sour type of taste. So we have, uh, we have tacos, we have skewers, we have chicken bowls. So those are very popular. So that's what we sell the most out here. The market is not only about food, though. There are many outlets to purchase clothing and other fun items. I'm here with Tony and Ryan. So what do you guys do at the OC Market? Is this your first time here? Well, you know, yeah, this is our first time. It's actually pretty exciting. We're here, you know, showcasing our summer collection, top cold, top culture. Uh, we're having a great time, you know, just vibing out and getting in touch with customers. You know, we're loving it, loving it, yeah. Cool. And for Ryan, uh, what's your favorite part of the OC Night Market? Is it talking to people? Is it selling your stuff? What is it? Definitely just seeing what everybody else has. It's really good to see what's out there, you know? Just network and just, you know, just bring everybody together. This is Nick McNeil, Eagle Vision News. There's been some big updates in the tech world recently, and we've got Nick McNeil to tell us all about them. Nick, what's the latest? Thank you, Tiffany. There have been some really cool updates in the tech world recently. Apple has recently set out to make the most personalized products that we've ever seen. The newest product to be announced is the Apple Watch, an all-in-one device to make your tech experience even better. This easily accessible device was created to make your cell phone, iPod, and other devices second nature with its all-in-one capabilities worn on your wrist. The watch even senses when you raise your arm and activates automatically. Uh, it features a dial button for easy scrolling functions and new touchscreen capabilities. The watch is set to be released in early 2015, so be looking out for that. But even more exciting, in my opinion, is Aero Mobile's new prototype for a flying car. Aero Mobile has been working on such a vehicle since the 1990s, and this is their third design so far. However, this new model has gotten many positive reports from avionic experts. Within flight mode, this car can fly up to 430 miles on a full tank of petrol at speeds reaching 124 miles per hour. When the wings are folded away, the car can be refueled at any common gas station and can fit in a standard parking space. And since this car has a passenger seat, you'll never have to fly alone. Aeromobile says that this new prototype is ready to be shown to the world this October 29th at the Pioneers Festival in Austria. Wow, 430 miles, a flying car, that's that's crazy. I, I totally want to invest in one. <laughs> so do I. I think everyone who sees uh, this new update would want one. Yeah, it almost take airplanes out of the, the picture and you yeah. can just fly over traffic, fly to different, you know, just anywhere you want. So. I feel like a superhero. That's right. Well, so. thanks, Nick. And during the semester, it can be difficult to avoid getting sick. Luckily, reporter Brenda LaFuente has some tips for how to stay healthy. Midterms are just around the corner for most Biola students. Sleepless nights, endless studying, and a caffeine diet is a sure way to get sick. The Biola Student Health Center provides students with a free appointment with a doctor and nurse. Upon your visit, they also provide medicine for pain relief, allergies, or even sports injuries. The Student Health Center also provides many tips on how to stay healthy during this flu season. The Biola Student Health Center is offering flu shots for the month of October on the 14th and 15th for just $15. I mean, I just figured, you know, the benefits outweigh the risk of anything. Sick versus non-sick. I don't want to be sick, so I went ahead and got the shot. But some students prefer their own means of pain relief and have taken precautionary measurements into their own hands. Um, 
I wash my hands a lot and I've been using hand sanitizer and uh, staying away from my friends because they were all sick. The Biola Student Health Center is open five days a week from Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So don't forget to use your hand sanitizer and wash your hands. This has been Brenda LaFuente reporting for Eagle Vision News. Well, that's all the time that we have for you this week, but be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more Biola news. Plus, if you have any story ideas you want covered, you can send them to us on any of those websites. Until then, I'm Tiffany Brevard. And I'm Natalie Grace. We'll see you next time.